A fire broke out on Sunday afternoon in the Jerusalem forest near the Yad Vashem Museum. The blaze spread over tens of dunams of land, but the museum went untouched. Before 4 o'clock, it all started. The first uh, fire team that arrived to the scene saw about, about four uh, separate divisions of uh, fire inside the forest of Jerusalem forest. Uh, immediately they called for help. Uh, after a few minutes uh, later, we got uh, more uh, fire team arrived to the scene. We all uh, about now we're talking about more than 23 fire team that arrived to the scene. We've improved the procedures, and after the big fire in the on Mount Carmel, we purchased uh, a lot of uh, equipment that we needed, and uh, it proved because uh, actually our teams stopped the fire at the corner of Yad Vashem fence uh, in a very effective way. They were very courageous. They were very effective. Um, and what can you tell me about, uh, do you know anything about the start of the fire, how it was caused? We, uh, when everything will be finished, we will start uh, the whole investigation to find out. Of course, there will be a lot of questions, before, because if they saw about uh, four uh, separate uh, places that the fire broke inside, that's uh, perhaps uh, meaning of arson or something like that. And if a fire were to threaten the museum, how quickly do you think you could evacuate some of the major artifacts? We are not speaking right now about the artifacts uh, because uh, we were ready to protect the museum uh, and uh, I don't think that the fire was so close to the museum to another corner of Yad Vashem campus. One person was lightly injured from smoke inhalation and the Jerusalem Fire Department said that they had already identified the area as prone to fires and were ready to spring into action. Through the Carmel and uh, through the fire that uh, happened last year, we understood uh, how to operate it. Those kind of fire, when they started, we immediately react. And I'm talking about not just sending two teams, we are sending in one time five, six teams at once. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post.